What up guys, hope everyone has been having an awesome day. And in this video, I'm gonna be going back to the roots of this channel and actually covering an upcoming Cardano NFT project called Sneckies. Now Sneckies has been on my radar for a while now. And even though there hasn't been a lot happening in the Cardano NFT ecosystem, this is actually one of those upcoming mints that I think has some potential. And I figured I'd do a little review. Without further ado guys, let's get into it. First things first, what exactly is Sneckies? Well guys, Sneckies is a PFP artist Art collection of 7,777 snacks that are based on the snack meme coin of Cardano. The main premise of this project is they're doing a mint. They're going to take those mint funds and buy ASIC miners. This is not through Goofy Gophers Mining Club, which a lot of these different mining projects have done, but instead they actually have their own connections so they can cut down on some of those middleman fees. And then they're going to be taking a percentage of that revenue and buying back snack and then distributing that snack within the community. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this project is they've done a really great job marketing. They have a great website, which I'm about to show you guys, but they also partnered with the Snack Team, which is the largest meme coin project on Cardano. And they are the first project part of this Snacks pit, which is kind of like an incubator slash partnership type concept. If you go to their website, you can learn a little bit more about their project and see all of these different animations of their website with all these different Snacks mining for this this different crypto. And I actually think this looks really great. And one of the reasons that I like the Snackies project is that the art of their PFPs actually looks good. I'll show you guys a couple of the ones that they had already posted. They have a pretty popular Cardano artist that have been making all of these. This is actually based on Cardano Thor and they have this octopus one and then they have this kind of mutated one. They have like this mining cyborg looking one. They have this orc one for Tavern Squad. And I personally think these look pretty iconic. Now, there are a decent amount of projects that went with the mining meta on Cardano, really kickstarted by Goofy Gophers Mining Club. And then you have like the Dirt Birds Outpost, you have a House of Titans, and you have a few other projects that are really doing the same thing. The big differentiator between this project and some of these other ones is that they're actually allocating more of their mining rewards back to their holders. And then personally, I think the art and the whole entire community vibe and the direct connection with Snack are the main things that make this project a little more special. You guys can go on their Snacky scroll and learn a little bit more about the lore and some of the other aspects of the project. But the main thing you're probably wondering is what is the actual revenue split for this project? Now, what they're doing is they're taking the mint funds and they're buying a bunch of ASIC miners. They're going to be mining a lot of the top different cryptocurrencies out there, whether that's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doge, that sort of thing. And for the first 90 days, 90% of that money is going to go back towards compounding these miners and then about 10% towards project development. After this 90 day period, they're going to have 50% for the holders that are staking. 10% is going for the holder flex, which is different incentives and different compensations that these holders can vote on of how they actually want those different rewards. Another 20% is going to go back towards compounding these miners, 10% for the project development or team. And then the final 10% is going to the snack pit, which is actually managed by the main snack meme coin project and they are able to allocate those funds wherever they would like. They're also going to be taking their royalties from the secondary which is going to have a 10% royalty. 20% of that is going to the snack pit once again. 50% is going towards compounding miners and then another 30% is going towards project development. As far as the mint details go there are going to be 7,777 of these snackies NFTs at 77 US dollars each. They're going with that whole seven number because that is the the main number in the snack community. And if you have a whitelist spot, you're going to be able to mint up to five of these. Anything not minted in the whitelist is then going to go towards the public. And the Snackies community have actually given us 100 whitelist spots to this project. We're going to be raffling 80 of those out for Jelly Token, and we'll post that on our main block investment group Twitter. So if you aren't already following our Twitter, give it a follow and you'll be able to see how you can get a whitelist by using some Jelly to buy some tickets. The actual mint itself is supposed to happen this week on the 16th. They might push this back, might not. But from what I understand, this is going to be the final mint date. The final thing that I want to add here is just going over their team a little bit. I actually talked to their founder maybe a month or two ago when I first saw this project and I saw that there was some potential with it. And I can say that I actually had a very positive conversation with him and he has a whole team built around this, probably seven or eight OG people in the space that are all working on this project. And I think based on what I've been seeing with their marketing and their branding and 
and their website and all of the organization of the project as well as the partnership with Snack, that they have actually been doing a good job managing and executing on this project. Now, the one negative thing that I want to say is the Cardano NFT space has been a little bit on the slower side and there haven't been as many new projects coming out, but this is definitely one of those projects that have checked off a lot on the list to me. And it's probably one of the best looking or best overall composed NFT projects launching on Cardano in a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have all their links in the description. And once again, we have some whitelist that we're going to be giving away using our Jelly token. So stay tuned to our main block investment group, Twitter, where we'll post that raffle when that goes live. And yeah, that wraps everything up. Hope you all have a good one and I'll catch y'all later.